In its heyday, the CBS show Two Broke Girls was an extremely popular sitcom, though it definitely had a penchant for courting controversy. When the show debuted, The New Yorker's Emily Nussbaum wrote that, "...there's plenty to dislike about Two Broke Girls, especially the ensemble, which is conceived in terms so racist it is less offensive than baffling." Suffice to say, this sitcom was hardly a critical darling, but it did manage to bring in millions of viewers each week. But the alleged racism and stereotypes aren't why Two Broke Girls was ultimately cancelled. It sounds like the real reason the show ended had everything to do with the bottom line. As CBS head of scheduling Kelly Call told Deadline in May 2017, Two Broke Girls was a really good show for us for a very long time. Our comedy development this year was very good, and whenever your comedy development is really good, it puts a lot of pressure on some of your older shows. We felt creatively it was time, and we had to create some space on the schedule to get some new product on. There was also the pesky fact that the network didn't actually own the show, which was produced by Warner Brothers Television. According to The Hollywood Reporter, CBS had reportedly considered a 13-episode seventh season for the show, but the network's lack of an ownership proved to be its demise. And since CBS didn't own the show, it didn't earn any profits from the show's syndication. Sounds like that's what sealed the show's fate at the end of the day. In the episode that turned out to be the series finale, Kat Denning's character Max gets engaged to Randy, played by Ed Quinn. There's also a biopic being made that's all about Caroline's life. Whether or not you thought this was a satisfying conclusion to the series, it sounds like the writers and producers had a lot more in mind for the comedy series. Talking to TV Line in April 2017, executive producer and co-showrunner Michelle Nader said, "...this is not the end for these girls. We're not finished, and we don't want to be finished, and I don't think the audience is finished. Obviously, there's no guarantee that we will be back, but we did not write the episode as a series finale. Had the show gotten a seventh season, there would have been plenty of surprises in store. For one thing, Cher was reportedly in talks to play Max's mom, according to TV Line. Now that we've learned this little morsel, we've fallen madly in love with the idea. Snap out of it! Dennings knows that fans wanted more from the show, too. In November 2017, the actress told Yahoo Entertainment that she'd consider playing the role again. As she put it, "...we didn't get to see Max and Randy's real wedding, which I think would have been cool. Maybe one day we'll wrap it all up with a two-hour special where we see all of these things happen. I would love that." I think the people that watched the show for so many years deserve some closure, and I would love to give that to them. But without a few tweaks to the formula, what would a reunion even look like these days? After all, a lot of the characters were basically stereotypes at the end of the day. Take Caroline and Max's boss Han, for example. As The Guardian writes, "...short, asexual, and work-obsessed, Lee is ridiculed for his broken English and failing to get U.S. culture." And then there's the restaurant cook Oleg, an Eastern European character. As The Hollywood Reporter pointed out in 2011, "...his only role was to be lecherous and onerous." When asked about the show's reliance on stereotypes in 2012, creator Michael Patrick King cited his sexuality as a defense. As Entertainment Weekly reports, he said, "...I'm gay. I'm putting in gay stereotypes every week. I don't find any of it offensive. Any of it. I find it comic to take everybody down." Fire! Fire! I smell fire! But don't just stand there! Do something! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.